Franklin TV Sports presents Franklin High School Girls Soccer. It's opening day here in the fall 2022 season, and we come to you from sun-drenched Piscini Stadium on the campus of Franklin High School. <clears throat> Hi, neighbors, and welcome to our telecast. I'm Pete Royce. I'll be calling all the exciting action of Franklin as they open up the season against a Hockamock League rival, the Tigers of Oliver Ames. Last year for Franklin, 14-2-2. They went to the second round of the state tournament and they lost a tough one, two to one to Brookline High School. Oliver Ames, well, they took the Davenport division of the Hockamock League. They were the conference champions in that division. They play in division two and they made it to the third round of the tournament where they lost. And they also graduated 10 seniors. We're underway here. Coach Tom Geisen back for what's either his 36th or 37th year. He was out last year injured. He's back on the sidelines for the Franklin Panthers and the opponent OA is coached by Britt Selmeyer. The game is underway. Franklin in the purple striped jerseys with navy pants and Oliver Ames in the traveling white with black trim. OA with the ball in goal for the Panthers is junior Rachel Welch and in goal for the Tigers is sophomore Janaya Mattier. So it's Mattier with the first save, and she'll be kicking it away. Only a sophomore, and she gets it out to midfield. Away with some pressure. Goes out of bounds. The officials for today's game are Rich Scafati and Jeff Carney. Scafati and Carney, I was talking to them before the game. No real rule changes this year at this level. And it's Franklin with the deep shot in. Panthers trying to get something going on offense. We'll give you the starting lineups as we can. Two 40-minute halves, a blast there is turned away off the right leg of Kelly O'Connor. Panthers send it down on the right left wing. It's going to go out of bounds, and the ball will go over to Oliver Ames. The Franklin starting lineup in goal, Rachel Welch, also starting junior Anya Zub. Can't believe she's a junior already. Maddie Horton, Olivia Costa, Nora Anderson, Bridget Leo, Avery Greco, Celine Hamad, Kelly O'Connor, and Lily DeForge, and Katie Ewald. We'll give you the starting lineups for OA as they're going to Take one down on the goal kick. They will start in goal. Janiah Mattier, Lucinda Lacotter, Taylor De DeVos, Emma Gavin, Molly Capice, Lynn El Hayek, Jenna Gilman, Mary Cross, Katie Wilson, and Jolie Diaz. Oliver Ames having some trouble advancing it. And Franklin with the steal. And they'll drop it back to set up their offense. Anderson with the blast down the left side. No score, opening three minutes of play here from Franklin. A warm early fall day. And that's kicked back to Rachel Welch and she'll kick it. Franklin can't clear it. It's now booted out of there by Bridget Leo on the left leg. Franklin 14, two and two last year. Coach Geisen told me before the game, one of his goals for this year, should nobody get hurt, and for the team to play up to the level they're capable of playing, and he said if they do that, we'll be all right. A bit of a rebuilding year for Coach Selmayer of OA. He told me his numbers are a little bit down, and he did lose those 10 seniors from last year's Hockamock League champions in the smaller division, not the division that Franklin plays in but the smaller Davenport division. Franklin can't control it and is taken the other way on the right wing. Good hustle back there by Lily DeForge and she's gonna win the rush to the ball and Franklin will be awarded the ball out of bounds. Our producers and our directors here today, Chris Leverone and Melissa Machisi, Machisi. 
Marchesium. Sorry, I got to get that right. I should know by now. 35-45 to go in the first half. No score. Franklin against Oliver Ames. Throw in. Franklin takes it back. Kicked in there by Lynn Elhayek of OA, taken back by the Panthers near midfield. Now they cross the boundary. Franklin trying to set up a play. Send the player out deep on the left, can't get to it, and OA covers it. The ball is going to go past the end line. Let's see who they're going to call it on. If it was against OA to their own zone, it would be a corner kick, but it looks like it's going to be a corner indeed. So that's what happened. The first corner kick for the Panthers. And they have it teed up on the far sideline. First corner of the game. And here it comes. Driving kick. A little bit strong and high. And it went on top of the goal. And that's out of play. And so the ball will be awarded to OA. A little bit too high that time on the corner as it comes sailing in and stayed high. And here is Janaya Mattier with her kick from her goal line. Mattier, a sophomore, and Rachel Welch, the junior in goal for the Panthers. Franklin has dominated the territorial play here so far for the most part. Shot there is taken by Avery Greco. Gonna call a foul on the Panthers. They'll give the ball to the Tigers. Putting it in play is Molly Capice. Capice, a senior. And she'll get the free kick. And she blasted up field. Curls it down. DeForge got a hand, a leg on it. Kicked back the other way. A header that way and a foul called. And it looks like it'll be a free kick for Oliver Ames inside the 25-yard line. Well, they bring it out to about the 27. Now back to the 29. Teeing it up there is Lucinda Lecotter. Le Le and she's going to go on the right sideline and is caught, picked out of the air by Rachel Welch. A little too strong off the right leg there of the OA player, and Welch hauled it in, and she'll boom one. She'll punt to midfield, headed the other way by OA. Our Nora Anderson goes down in a scrum. Franklin trying to get their plays going here. It's been back and forth. First game of the season for both teams as OA sends it out wide on the right. They're going to center it up. Play it right in front. Nice kick there out of the way by Franklin to relieve the pressure. Tipped out there now by Celine Hamad. Franklin front of their bench. They send one up. The race for the ball. Owe is going to kick it back and out of bounds. As racing for it there was Olivia Costa, I believe. Just about eight minutes in. No score here from Franklin. The throw in by DeForge. Leo covers it and she'll drop it back. A blast in, heavy traffic there. Franklin, good body position to control it in the offensive zone. This is DeForge with it now. Lily, her shot is blocked on a beautiful block there by OA's Jenna Gilman. And Lily DeForge will throw it in. OA in good position. And box out, boxed out there beautifully by DeForge and Franklin will have the ball. The Forge, headed by OA, kicked out of there by Jenna Gilman. Gilman again, and she drives it up the left sideline. This is going to go out of bounds, and Franklin should have it coming back. Lily DeForge will put it in play. DeForge, a junior defenseman. A lot of pressure by OA. Franklin cannot get their offense untracked. Taken back by Lynn El Hayek. 
Greco settles it down on the right side, leaves it for Lily DeForge. She blasts one. Again, the OA back line right there on it, but they kick it out of bounds. Franklin will have it upfield. Covering it for the Panthers was Celine Hamad. 30-36 left in the first period. We're still scoreless here in opening day 2022. Trying to get through it is Hamad. No whistle. Play on. Ball up to the left sideline. Kept in beautifully by Lucinda Lacotter. Lacotter with some great moves. Lacotter dribbles it all the way in. Nice pass out there deep for Emma Gavin. Good rush. There's the drive. And Welch with the diving save. The best save of the game for Rachel Welch the talented junior goalkeeper for coach Tom Geisen. New assistant coach this year for Franklin is Emma Morrison. Emma, graduate of Dean College locally. Happy to be assisting coach Geisen. Talked to her before the game. Very excited with her words for this upcoming season. Drive up forward. Hamad tries to get to it, cannot. Back and forth we go. Very evenly played, first period so far. Little header there by Anya Zub, and she sends it back and picked up in there by Mattier. Janaya Mattier with the save, and she'll punt it a short punt, headed nicely by a Panther. Left foot boot is going to go inbounds, and now it's going to stay inbounds on some good playing there by Sophia Byron. And now it's called out of bounds, and Franklin will have it with. About 11 minutes gone here, exactly 11 minutes gone in the first half. DeForge with the throw in. Can't clear the defense, but Franklin recovers on the right wing. Intended there for Costa too strong and out of bounds, and OA will have it back. So glad you're with us, friends, fans on Franklin TV and streaming worldwide on our internet service and on YouTube. OA. Can't get it going. DeForge centering it up. Franklin has a chance. Oh, cutting through there beautifully was O'Connor, but the defense closed on her fast. Ball is hit out of bounds. Let's see if they're gonna turn it back over to the Panthers. Yes, they will. Franklin will have it on the far side. No real shots on net yet for the Panthers. OA has had one or two. A little back kick by Costa. Now it's driven out of bounds and they'll give the ball to the Panthers. Lily DeForge has thrown in a few balls here today. This time she gets it forward and batted out off her head was O'Connor taken out deep. OA can't get to it. Good box out by the Panthers. That was a great play by Bridget Leo. 27-22 left in the first half. We're still scoreless on opening day. Franklin did have three scrimmages, preseason scrimmages, and they won all three. One against Algonquin, one against Medfield, and I'm not sure of the third team, but they did win them. But those games are used to kind of let the coaches get a feel for all of the positions that he wants players to fill, kind of mixing and matching. And Franklin didn't play great against Algonquin, but it was a win. Welch out deep will control it, has to kick it because the ball came in through her to a teammate from a teammate. Driving there with it is Greco. She's upended, and ball is turned over to OA, and now driven out of there by Maddie Horton for the Panthers. And she sends it out of bounds, and OA will have it upfield. Almost 14 minutes gone here in this one. So glad you're with us, fans, as we launch another season of exciting Franklin sports on Franklin TV and Streaming worldwide on the internet. Horton over to Anya Zub. 
to Maddie Horton on the left wing. Franklin has a position in front in the save by Mattier. That was a good save by Mattier on the blast from the left wing. Mattier has looked sharp in goal for the Tigers. And she punts it beyond midfield. Ball is going to come to the near sidelines and it's going to be boxed out on a play there by Avery Greco to let the ball roll out so Franklin has the free throw in. This is Greco. She'll send it back to Horton. Maddie Horton, the junior. Franklin just had its best look of the game, trying to duplicate it. The drive from the left wing and the reboot, the reflect, the deflection there in front and unable to get a good angle on it, I believe was Costa. Ball came into her nice. That might have been Celine Hamad instead. I think it was Hamad. Try to redirect the blast from the left wing. Just went up. The best chance of the day right there for the Panthers. So we stay scoreless. Two Hockamock League rivals. Franklin played Oliver Ames in field hockey yesterday. Took the measure of the Tigers. Here's the drive. Kicked out of there by a defenseman. And here comes Oliver Ames. They got some numbers. Two on two, but it's broken up. Stolen by the Panthers. Franklin trying to control it. DeForge with the blast on the right side. It goes out of bounds back to OA. 24 minutes to go in the first half. We're scoreless. OA with a strong boot. Franklin takes it back, skips over DeForge, goes out of bounds. It'll be Franklin with the throw in. Forge off the back of Anya Zub. Franklin controlling it on the right wing. Too far for Costa, taken back by Owe, and they drive it down the left sidelines. Going to go out of bounds. Franklin will have it on the throw in again. Good pressure defense by Oliver Ames. They're pressing the whole way, and they get a throw in kicked out by... Avery Greco, bodied out by Greco, throw in quickly by OA. With it there is Sophia Byron. Ball out of bounds. Franklin will have it. With 23 minutes to go here in the first half, we're scoreless. Timeout for a shoe adjustment by Avery Greco. Play to resume now on the throw in by DeForge. Headed up there by O'Connor, I believe. Franklin makes a dive, but they come up short, and the ball's going to go sailing. No call yet. Now they're going to give it to the Panthers. Franklin's last game was a playoff game last year. They lost it one to nothing to Brookline in the second round of the tournament. Throw in by Franklin at midfield. Taken back by O.A. Franklin again recovers, and Nora Anderson booms it upfield. Good defense there, but it's going to go out of bounds off of Olivia Costa, the junior. If she had gotten by the defense, she might have had some open space there towards the goal. Coming in for the nice attempt there was a Panther on the play. It stopped the advance momentarily by O.A. O.A. heading it back and forth. It was Greco who made that nice attempt for the Panthers a moment ago. And the throw in for Oliver Ames. This is Sophia Byron. Byron stolen by Zub. Zub sends a player away. Franklin, again, the nice block by Oliver Ames to stop the fast break for the Panthers. That was blocked by Molly Capice. 21.05 left in the first half. We're scoreless. 
Franklin digging hard. They win the dig. Zub gets it forward, but over to OA. Franklin with some pressure in the offensive zone. DeForge, battle of 22s right there for DeForge and Laney Carroll. Franklin keeps it in. Nice play by Greco, controlling it. And she'll drop it back to midfield in the blast there by Maddie Horton. Franklin coming in, some good body position. Zub boots it and coming out of goal and making the diving stop is Janiah Mattier. Zub with some good skills there but couldn't convert as Mattier came way out of her net to haul it in. And Mattier will punt it. Comes beyond midfield on the roll, kicked out, kicked back by Maddie Horton. Franklin trying to control on the far side. It goes out of bounds, I believe off OA. Franklin will have it. Coach Tom Geisen back on the sidelines for the Panthers. He watched last year from up on the hill. Good to see him back. He said he's very happy to be back as well. OA will have the free hit from midfield. They line up. Away has it. On the left side, can they keep it in? Yes, they can. And now it goes out of bounds there off Mary Cross, I believe. Franklin with the throw in. We're still looking for the first score of the game. Tipped forward by Sophia Byron of OA. And now a whistle stops play and the Panthers will have it on the near sideline. The forge with the two-handed throw in. The forge with a nice bicycle kick there to clear a little bit of distance. Greco trying to get to it, cannot. And now Franklin does settle it down, kicked backwards by Mia Englantine for Franklin. Franklin on the far side. Back and forth we go. About one or two scoring opportunities for each team. A nice block by DeForge. A lot of power behind that shot. Greco comes in and DeForge kicks it high. Greco cannot get to it. Now she does, but it's stolen in there by Laney Carroll. And Franklin will steal it back by Katie Ewald. The race for it in the diving, saved by Franklin. What a hustle play by the Panthers. And they are excited as they drive it out. What a play there. Franklin players a bit winded after that. Coach Geisen will go to some substitutes, as does Coach Selmayer. So we're scoreless. Clock moving, 17.31 left here in the first half, opening day. Franklin in the blue and white with the vertical stripes and OA in the white unis with black trim and black numerals. Play stop for a moment as another sub comes in. The officials again for today are Rich Scafati and Jeff Carney. Now things are sorted out, and we're about ready to go. Franklin with the kick in. Sails through, Zub tries to clear it on the right wing, she does. Franklin trying to keep it in bounds, and they do on a very nice play by Tori Carmignani. Carmignani with a very nice play to save it and keep it Keep control as Anderson blasted forward. Zub is out there. The goalkeeper is wide open. Nobody is home. The race for it. And it goes in. It goes in for a goal. It goes in for a goal. I think it was Zub. How about the goalkeeper coming way out? Unofficially, we'll give it to Anya Zub. It just kept rolling. And Mattier tried to get to it but couldn't, and the ball just kept rolling and rolling, 
and at 16-24 in the first half, it's Franklin one and Oliver Ames nothing. What an interesting goal. That ball had a lot of power behind it. It kept rolling and rolling and Madier was out of position. Remember that sequence was started by a great defensive play by Franklin on the diving save the other end. Now away tries to come back to equalize the game. They're down one to nothing. They have position in front. Good control there and the blast is way high and it's gonna be sailing down into the waiting arms of Rachel Welch. One to nothing, Franklin. 1547 left in the first half. Welch will punt it. Nice punt, lands at the 50. Com compact uh, contact there and a foul called on to Ford. She helps her, gives a little tap on the back for her opponent. That'd be Laney Carroll, a number, both wearing the number 22. And the throw in here for Taylor DeVos. Way out deep and she's gonna kick it. He has it teed up. The line on the right, her kick is a a wrapping ball that goes to the middle of the field and DeVos gets it right back and she'll do it again. This time it clears through, one defense there, the shot and the save from point blank range. The ball got through and the save by Rachel Welch. They may have called offside on that anyway. Exciting action there, the ball got through. I think they did call offside. 14.36 left. Welch sends it through. Battling for it is Carmen Yanni. She's had some good play out here so far today. The race for it on the right wing deep. Away has had a couple of chances, but Welch has been outstanding in goal for the Panthers. And here comes Franklin. Nice play in the open field here. This is exciting here. Coming through, holding it almost coast to coast and finally warded off on the play. What a great rush by the Panthers. That player went the whole length of the field. Now it's gonna come back to Oliver Ames. Ball kept in nicely by Costa. And dribble forward now. It's going to stay out of. It's going to go out of bounds. That last rush, I believe, was by S Kelly O'Connor. Away has it. Under 13 and a half to go. Costa, give and go. Back to Costa. Can't keep it in bounds. It goes out of bounds, and Away will have it. One to nothing, Franklin. The Panthers scored with 16.24 left in the first half. Sun still drenching Piscini Stadium here on a warm early fall day. Throw in, Franklin steals it, Costa. Sends it on the right wing, great speed there by a Panther. And I believe that was Kelly O'Connor with the great speed. O'Connor battles for it on the far side. Panthers keep it in, they drive it, blocked by a defenseman for Oliver Ames, and they got a two on one break. Two on one break for OA. Franklin trying to get back, they do even off the numbers. The drive is weak and it rolls into Rachel Welch and she scoops it up. A two on one break, but the defense finally closed and evened the numbers. And then the drive was thwarted and it just dribbled in to Rachel Welch. She's been good in goal so far. And she'll punt it away. Headed the other way by Oliver Ames. They kick it right out of bounds. Goes out of bounds there on the kick by Jenna Gilman, the senior. Throw in for the Panthers. Zub. With it there was Mia Englantine. And the, goes back to the Panthers. Under 12 to go, Lily DeForge. Will toss it in, taken back now by Tori Carmignani. They have a player loose, the shot and the goal! <laughs> a 
The shot in the goal. Carmignani helped it. We'll try to identify that number. I think it was Kelly O'Connor. We're going to give it to O'Connor unofficially. Kelly O'Connor. Again, Mattier seems to be making decisions that haven't always turned out well for her. Franklin leads it. Goal came at 11.35, two to nothing. We'll give it to O'Connor. So after going almost 24 minutes without a goal, Franklin has put two home in the last seven minutes or so. And the Panthers will have it back. To midfield it goes, Oliver Ames. Been out of position a couple of times on the Franklin goals. Other than that, they've played pretty solid. Good control here by Lucinda Lacotter. Away keeps it in. The drive is going to come through in position and too far in front of a cutting player for OA or she would have been in alone. The ball sailed past her, though, and out of bounds. End kick coming up for the Panthers. Trying to steam ahead was Carly Gibson, I believe, the senior. Ball comes out near midfield and kicked high now. It's going to stay in bounds. A header there by Kelly O'Connor. And Franklin is going to kick it out of bounds at midfield. Just about 10 minutes to go here in the first half. Two 40-minute halves. Ball comes through, spinning around. A nice move is Lacotter. Lacotter takes it down and loses control. It goes on the end line. Goal kick coming up here for the Panthers. Two to nothing. Franklin with the lead. Opening day here in the 2022 season. So glad you're with us, Fran. Fans on Franklin TV and streaming on YouTube worldwide on the internet as Franklin sends it out and a whistle stops play violation against OA the Panthers will have it and they'll set up at about their own 35 Franklin tees it up dribbles it short to Leo Bridget Leo up ahead it goes, and now taken back by O.A. Good pressure by O'Connor. Out deep. It's set on the left wing. Franklin right there to drive it in, but it's going to go out of bounds in the corner, the far corner there, and O.A. will have it back with under nine minutes to go here in the first half. Franklin trying to keep their lead here in the first half. It's only a two goal lead. Battle for it there on the far side. Lucinda Lacotter, she's been a strong player for the Tigers. And Oway will have the free throw in just before midfield. Franklin kicks it back, stays in. Oway settles the ball and drives it forward, but right there is Ke Maddie Horton on the back line for the Panthers. Nice play by Horton. Ball is going to go out of bounds off of OA. Franklin will have it. Under eight minutes to go now in the first half. Headed forward, Franklin. Again, Maddie this time stayed high, didn't come all the way out like she has done Fell short a little time, a couple of times. But that time she held her position. The ball went out of bounds. And let's see, was it kicked out by OA or by Franklin? It's by OA. It's going to be a corner kick. And it is a corner. The second corner for the Panthers. And this looks like Kelly O'Connor will tee it up in the far corner. 
Franklin 0 for 1 on corner so far. Seven minutes to go. Here's the kick. Right in front. Headed there by a Panther. Headed again. Contact. Back and forth. Franklin can't clear it and it's dived on by Janiah Mattier. She dove on it to stop a lot of activity in front of her. And she'll punt it. This punt comes up short. And Franklin to Greco, protecting the ball, spinning, dives forward and kicks it backwards to Maddie Horton. Away with Franklin out on the field. It jumps a player, but Franklin with control, taken back, Zub can't get to it, kept in by the Panthers. The diving play, it's taken back by Oliver Ames. And they drive it, they have numbers, they have a player out in front on the right wing, coming in, the shot, and the shot is wide as Welch took care of the corner. There was very little room there. It went wide to her left, the player's right, and out of bounds. Goal kick coming up for Franklin with under six minutes to go here in the first half. Another good breakaway, though, for OA. They've had their chances, but Welch has been good in goal. This comes over the head of Carmignani, Tori. Carmignani still charging for it. Short kick, stopped there by Greco and blasted all the way back for Lily DeForge. Player coming in on her and DeForge kicks it out of bounds to relieve the pressure with 5.19 to go here in the first half. Clock will stop with five minutes. The referees will control the action, the clock for the final five of each half. The throw in here coming for Sophia Byron. Byron. And a whistle stops play. And now Franklin with the blast, with a breakaway. Costa couldn't get to it, it went behind her. And it goes out of bounds, it'll come back the other way. Here, it does not go out of bounds, it's kept in by OA. Franklin with three players in the back line. They just dribble it back. Welch has to kick it, cannot field it from her teammate. Good play there by Anya Zub in traffic. Oh, let's check it, that was not Zub. It looked like that was Maddie Horton. And now the blast on the right wing kept in bounds. Dribbled now and hit out of bounds. Sort of an unforced error there by Sophia Byron and DeForge will have it. We're in the final five minutes of the first half. Too strong, attempted there from Mia, Maya Englantine for DeForge, it goes out of bounds. Just about a minute into the five minute clock stoppage on the big scoreboard clock. OA. Down two to nothing. First half winding down, less than four minutes to go. Heavy traffic and a foul called on Maya Englantine. OA will have it. They've had good scoring opportunities. And they'll tee it up. 15 yards shy of the midfield strike, stripe. Almost two minutes gone here in the five minute stoppage time. Stoppage in terms of the clock on the big scoreboard. And is controlled nicely by Tori Carmignani. Carmignani, the senior. It's kicked out of bounds, Franklin with the throw in. And couple of, one sub coming in for coach Tom Geisen on the far side. Heavy traffic, Franklin with the steal. And now it's turned over the other way. Franklin trying to get it back. That was Carmignani, she couldn't. Away controls it, Franklin right on it. And now the blast upfield. Zub tried to slow it down, could not. Controlled there by Bridget Leo for a moment. No way has it. It's going to roll in, and Welch will come way out of net to pick up the rolling ball. With about a, two minutes left here in the first half, unofficially. 
Welch has stopped everything so far. She drives one, and that's going to be a push. A push there against Emma Gavin. And the referee saw it and gives the ball to Franklin. And here come the Panthers. They'll tee it up at midfield. Everybody but one up front. And here's the blast. Way upfield it comes. All the way through, and the shot is just rolled wide. A tremendous kick, I believe, by Anderson from midfield, and that set up a scoring opportunity for the Panthers, and the ball just rolled wide to the goal mouth as you look at it on the right side. Just about a minute and a half left here in the first half. This is Mattier, their goalkeeper. She'll tee it up. Can't clear it. Franklin coming through with some pressure and a foul called here against the Panthers. Away will have it. Foul on Anya Zub. Unofficially, 107 to go here in the first half. Two to nothing. Panthers holding on. Field player will drive it. Franklin stops it. Now the Panthers go to work on the left side, tap forward, and again, Mattier will come way out of goal to haul it in. I believe about 40 seconds to go unofficially here in the first half. Mattier with the punt. Takes a high hop, DeForge heads it, and it is knocked out of bounds there by Celine Hamad. Hamad with the battle of foul on Hamad. Owe will have it unofficially. 18 seconds left. First half. And the 18 seconds dwindled down to nothing. That's it. The first half is over as both teams will go to their respective sidelines. The Panthers gathered around head coach Tom Geis and assistant coach Emma Morrison. And for Owe, they'll be meeting with Head coach Britt Selmeyer, assistant coaches Steve Searcy and Kendall Andrew and Regan Benton. Well, the scoring summary in the first half, then we're going to take a break and we'll be back in about nine minutes <coughs> for after this halftime is over. We have it unofficially, Anya Zub with the goal at 16-24 in the first half. That put the Panthers on top, broke the ice of the game one to nothing. Then we have it for Kelly O'Connor, makes it two to nothing with 11.35 left in the first half. In goal, very strong game so far by the junior Rachel Welch for the Panthers. And on the other side of the ledger, Janiah Madier has stopped all but two. And Franklin was able to take two shots that made it through the net for their two scores. So we're gonna pause here. We hope you come back in about uh, eight or nine minutes for the exciting second half. Thanks for watching. You're watching exciting Franklin Girls Soccer on Franklin TV and streaming worldwide on the internet. We'll be right back. We're at halftime of the opening game of the 2022 season and Franklin taking on rival OA and the Panthers lead it at halftime by the score of two goals to none. Pete Royce with you here high above the field at Piscini Stadium. Franklin in the home navy blue with white stripes and blue shorts and Oliver Ames in the traveling white with black numerals and black trunks. Here we go, 40 minutes of action left. Franklin with two goals unofficially, one by Anya Zub at 16.24 in the first half, and another by Kelly O'Connor to make it two to nothing, and that's where we stand as we enter the final 40 minutes of play. <clears throat> Opening day on the season. Both teams excited to be here on the field. A spectacular day in Franklin as Franklin will go from right to left across your screens. Right in front of us is Kelly O'Connor. She was outstanding in the first half. Greco racing for it. And how about the play and goal of junior Rachel Welch? A high blast here towards the goal. Mattier comes out, it's loose. Franklin wins it, wins it momentarily. Now it's settled down by Bridget Leo. She has a player out. Mattier, though, will intercept it. Mattier with the stop and the save for Oliver Ames. Just the start of the second half. Away 
Going from left to right here in the second half as teams switch sides. The ball is settled down by Emma Gavin. Gavin, a sophomore, blasted in. And Welch will come out a goal and make the save, her first save of the second half. She had a number of beauties in the first half. <clears throat> Ball out to midfield, Franklin tries to keep it in. Now they drop it back for the advance forward and it's gonna go to the Franklin bench and beyond on the far side. <coughs> Coach Tom Geisen back on the sidelines this year. He was out injured last year, but he is back and happy to be so. Said he still has the passion for the game and for coaching. He's done it for some 37 years here at Franklin. Oh, hey with an opportunity on the left wing. Franklin trying to close on it, they can't. Nice hesitation move. Now it's sent wide out right by Maddie Horton and out of bounds. Quick throw in for Owe. Now whistle stops play. The officials Rich Scafati and Jeff Carney. Just in two minutes into the second half, two to nothing, Franklin holding on. Field pretty much 95% in the brilliant sunshine. That might change a little bit as the second half wears on. Sun will be setting along the far side. You can see the shadows just beginning to creep onto the field. OA has a play lined up. Everybody in front. Here's the blast. It's low, driving, and Maddie Horton will not let it go through. And she just kicks it now beyond her own goal line. This is going to be the first corner kick for Oliver Ames as Horton couldn't quite settle it to the sideline, and she kicked it backwards. First corner for OA. Franklin has had two. The drive right in front. It comes sailing through. Bunch of bodies on it. The drive there and the block by Franklin. Nice block there, I believe, by Kelly O'Connor. Still whistle stops play as a possible advancement was thwarted and a penalty, a foul rather, against OA, and Franklin will have the free kick. And that relieves some pressure, some outstanding offense there for the Tigers. And Horton will leave it for Rachel Welch. Welch has it teed up and drives it. Headed beyond midfield by the Panthers. Franklin wins the battle at midfield. OA now gets it back. And they'll kick it backwards. Chasing it back down there is Jenna Nelson. And it goes out of bounds. Let's see, they're gonna give it to OA. Off of Franklin. Good play there by Nelson. The throw in. Picked off in there by Katie Ewald, she's a starter for Franklin. Anderson, nice reverse play by Anderson is blocked out of bounds. It'll be Franklin with the throw in as Nora Anderson did a nice job and won that battle. DeForge will throw it in. Just over four minutes gone here in the second half. Two 40 minute halves. Ewald drops it back for Anderson. Left footed boot there for O'Connor. Kelly loops one for Zub. Anya boots it forward. Frees a player on the left wing. O'Connor can't get to it and is blocked. Franklin keeps the pressure on though. And Greco battling and bumping. They're going to say off of Franklin, go to Oliver Ames. Two to nothing, Franklin with the lead. So glad you're with us, fans, on Franklin TV, and we're streaming worldwide on the internet on YouTube. Just five minutes into the second half, Franklin with a two to nothing lead at halftime. Stays that way here in the early going of the second. The drive there blocked by Greco. Zub chases it, blasted forward, headed the other way, and a strong header there and is controlled by Lucinda LeCotter. She can't control it, and the blast goes all the way through to Mattier. She will pick it up. No pressure there. She just caught the, slightly, the slowly rolling ball, and she'll punt it. Strong punt this time to midfield. Greco trying to get to it, cannot. Teammate does back to Greco. Avery Greco 
controlling it, reverses field, sends it on the right wing. Too strong there. The Panthers trying to regroup. It's centered out to midfield and beyond. Taken back by Anderson. Nora with the strong boot. She's got a player out there and too strong. Offside called as Franklin was trying to get the fast break on the strong boot by Nora Anderson. But offside on the play was Kelly O'Connor. O'Connor has been outstanding. We have her unofficially with a goal here today. Anya Zub unofficially with the other one. Away from their own back line. They've had opportunities. Bridget Leo for the Panthers on the right side. Has a player out there, Costa. Costa, Olivia settles it down and centers it up. And Mattier will come out of goal and make the save. Janaya Mattier, the sophomore for Oliver Ames. Away out of the Davenport division of the Hawk. Franklin out of the higher attendance division, the Kelly Rex. Zub blocks it, and it's sent out of bounds by OA. This should be Franklin with the ball. And they throw it in. Now it's kicked out again by Oliver Ames. And on the far side, Franklin will have it once again. No scoring here in the second half so far. Plenty of time left. Opening day for both teams in the fall 2022 season. Kicked out of bounds off Franklin. Owe will have it back. Owe graduated 10 seniors. Franklin didn't lose a lot of seniors, but they lost some real good players from last year. Owe to midfield, and that's it. Kicked high. Sent back to the Owe zone. Now to the Franklin zone it comes. Back the other way. Battle for it. Kicked on the sideline. That's going to stay in bounds. Franklin will race for it. And Horton will boot it out of bounds to take the pressure off. It'll be a throw in on the far side for Oliver Ames High School. 31 45 left in the game. Pete Royce high above the field here at Piscini Stadium. Camera operator today, Melissa Marchese. Chris Leverone producing as well. Ball is out of bounds. It'll be to the Panthers just beyond before midfield. Two to nothing. Franklin on top. Throw in. Stymied, kicked out of bounds. Franklin will do it again. Five to ten yards further upfield. And there it comes in, away, trying to get control. Franklin with the battle for it. Midfield pushing there and a push called on Maddie Horton of Franklin and away will have it. Free kick, they'll set up their offense. They are capable. Jenna Nelson has it teed up, the senior. Almost 10 minutes gone here in the 40 minute second half. Franklin holding on to a two to nothing lead. Here's the blast from midfield. Anderson heads it the other way for Franklin. And Costa wins the battle on the far side. Franklin will win the ball out of bounds. Nope, they give it to OA, I beg your pardon. Said off of Costa. Whistles blowing again. One of the officials talking to Rachel Welch in goal for Franklin. That's Jeff Carney talking to Welch. It's going to be a free kick. It's almost like a corner kick. Good chance for OA. They're down two goals to none. Under 30 minutes left. Drives right in front of the goal. Headed by Anderson. Off to Zub, and Franklin can't clear it. The defense there for Oliver Ames, and an offside called here against Oliver Ames. Franklin will have it back the other way. Two to nothing. A little lapse there for the Panthers that almost cost them. 
and Welch has it teed up. Headed the other way on a 10 yard heading kick, heading shot rather. On the left wing, O'Connor racing for it, cannot get to it, and it goes out of bounds. O'Connor with great speed for the Panthers. Kelly O'Connor, only a sophomore. The throw in by Oliver Ames. Greco stops it for the Panthers. Greco to Leo. Bridget on the right wing for Costa. Costa has it, settles the ball down. Costa maneuvering through. Costa tries to center it, it is blocked, and it's gonna go past the end line. This should be a goal kick coming up for Oliver Ames. With 28-22 left here in the game, two to nothing, Franklin with the lead. Did they call that, oh, they called that a goal, a corner. They called that on the back line by OA, so it'll be the third corner kick for the Panthers. The drive from right in front, Zub tries to get to it, cannot. It did get a leg on it, but not cleanly. And there's the blast from way out deep. It's going to go wide right. Big blast there. Goes wide right by Olivia, uh, check it, Maddie Horton. Sailed right over everything to the right of the goal as we look at it. Goal kick coming up for Oliver Ames away out of Easton Mass, down near the South Shore. Foul called on Franklin. Oliver Ames will have it upfield at their, about their own 31 yard line. Dribbled up to midfield, and now the blast. But Anderson, who's done it a number of times, blocks it. Now it's gonna the race for it. This is Katie Ewald. She gets to it, but kicks it out of bounds. And it'll be Oliver Ames with some good field upfield position here on this one, on the throw in. Sub coming in for OA, racing out is Jenna Nelson for coach Britt Selmayer. And coming into the game for Oliver Ames is Katie Wilson, the senior. In the corner, it's gonna go out of bounds. And let's see. Is that going to be a corner? It was off. Yes, Franklin sent it beyond its own back line. It's going to be another corner kick for OA, this time from the right side. They're second in about the last four minutes. Still trying to get on the board. Here's the boot. Comes through. Headed that way. Kicked again. All Oliver Ames still on it on the far side there. Chased down by Molly, by Emma Gavin. And now it's going to go out of bounds, away with the throw in on the far side. And a whistle, a foul called against Franklin. A free kick here for the OA Tigers. This is virtually a corner kick. Maybe eight, ten yards out from the corner. Same effect, Franklin has to be careful. Oliver Ames has had a number of these now. Two official corner kicks lately and then two right from this spot. This is the second one. Driven right through. The header is just wide. Oliver Ames keeps control in the offensive zone. Now it's kicked out of bounds by OA. Now will be a goal kick for the Panthers the other way. So Franklin survives a couple of uh, tough chances to give up. But they stood tall and knocked it down. 25.05 left in this one. Franklin 2, Oliver Ames no score. Rachel Welch has it teed up. O'Connor gets a leg on it. Turned back the other way by Emma Gavin. Now controlled by Bridget Leo. She'll drop it back on the right side. Tipped there by Costa. Franklin will have it at midfield. Almost midway through the second half. No scoring here in the second half. All the, both of the goals came in the first half in a span of about seven minutes from about the 16-24 mark to 11-35. 
Throw in the other way by Oliver Ames in front of the Franklin bench. Away has it again. And now they say no. Franklin has the ball. A throw in on the far side. Away right there. Kicked out of, headed out of bounds or bodied out of bounds. Franklin will have it again. There's the throw in. Franklin, no big scoring opportunities here in this half. Away has had a few. Whistle stops play, a foul called against Oliver Ames. Franklin takes their time. This is a tee up and the ball is driven right in front of the goal. Heavy traffic headed there by O'Connor but not towards the net, out of bounds, off the back line. It'll be a goal kick coming up for away. Unofficially, the two goals in the game, first half by Anya Zubba, Franklin and Kelly O'Connor. Made it two to nothing. And that's where we were at halftime. That's where we are now with 23 minutes left in the game. Field player with the kick. Settled down by Mary Cross. Cross, senior for OA comes up. Nice battle by Katie Ewald to steal it. Now Oliver Ames takes it back. Anderson with the header. Driven on the left wing. Stopped by the Franklin defense. Franklin goes backwards in order to go forward. A blast by Anderson headed by Owe. Headed her again. Now Greco tries to get to it. Cannot. It's driven in and blocked by Horton. Ping pong we go, back and forth. Costa loses it. Anderson has her ball deflected. Rather, that was Celine Hamad, not Costa, with the previous play. Ball is out of bounds now. Oway will have it near midfield. There's the throw in short. Blast there. And I'm not sure the call but it's against OA. Franklin will sub in a player. Going out is Hamad. We'll check the player on the field in just a moment. Throw in by the Panthers. It's blocked. And OA takes it back. Try to clear it. I believe the player in the game is Mia Englantine for Hamad with 21-22 left in the game. Englantine to midfield, off a of, uh, foul called against Oway. Franklin will have it at midfield. Teed up actually at the 45. Anderson addresses the ball and sends it long. Headed the wrong way by O.A., headed by O'Connor and into the arms on one bounce of goalkeeper Janaya Mattier. And she makes the save. She'll punt it high. Franklin turns it back. Midfield, Leo. Driven back the other way by Franklin, but out of bounds. O.A. will have it near midfield. Almost midway through the second half. Two to nothing, Franklin. Panthers. Trying to get it back, they do. O'Connor racing for it, cannot get to it, but on the block shot, she does get to it. And she'll keep it in bounds, and now she boots it out of bounds on the near sideline. Check it, that was Avery Greco. Under 20 minutes to go here in the game. Heavy traffic, double team, but a foul called against Franklin. And be a free kick coming for Oliver Ames at the midfield stripe. Right on the numbers to the right side. Franklin dropping back, trying to get in position.
Driving kick deep. It's gonna go past the first line of defense. Anderson will knock it forward. Settled down by OA inside the 50. On the left wing, OA charging, contact, no foul, play on, kicked out of bounds by Franklin. Oliver aims with the ball. Under 19 minutes left. Quickly thrown in. Anderson sends it away. Tip back, O'Connor. She can't drive it through the defense. Oliver aims back with it in the offensive zone. OA trying to get something going. This is Laney Carroll. She's driven back. Anderson will kick it out of bounds. A three a throw in for Oliver Ames with 18.22 to go. A couple of subs coming in for Coach Britt Selmayer of Oliver Ames. Selmayer in his 29th year coaching Oliver Ames. But Geisen, Tom Geisen, <clears throat> either his 36th or his 37th year. He wasn't sure as we talked to him before the game. <clears throat> Foul against Franklin, away with the ball, way in the offensive zone. Ewald with the steal, it's off of away player. Ewald wins it, and Franklin will have the throw in. Under 18 minutes left, two to nothing, Franklin. Opening day in the 2022 season. Kicked forward by Horton, a long blast. And O.A. has to chase it all the way back to their own 24-yard line. And they reverse the ball, stopped there by Leo. She sends it back for Zub, bodied up by O.A. and driven deep. And this is going to go to o Nora Anderson. She's going to go all the way back, gets it. She cannot clear it. It's a block there by LaCotter. LaCotter in Rachel Welch with a diving save as O'Connor tried to clear it, could not. Rather, LeCotter blocked the clear, and then Welch came out of goal to make the save, and she'll punt it away. A beauty, a good decision, more than anything, by Rachel Welch. Away back, trying to get on the board. Franklin could not control. It's going to go back, and Welch will have to kick it as she got a pass from Mia Englantine. Ball on the right wing. Zub battling for it, pushing, no call. Franklin has it near midfield. They lose it for a moment, and it's going to be a foul called against Franklin. Away quickly on the left side. Player down, foul called against Franklin again. 16-12 to go. Can Franklin hold on? It's been scoreless since the 11.35 mark of the first half. The drive by Owe, it's through but blocked nicely by O'Connor. Tip back in and Welch will be out of goal to make the save for the Panthers. Nothing, is, nothing has gotten through. Rachel Welch, the junior goalkeeper for the Panthers and she'll punt it. Takes a hop at the 45 over midfield. Kicked out of bounds by Kelly O'Connor. It'll go to the Tigers of OA. OA subs out a player. And with the throw in will be Jenna Nelson just off the bench for OA. Comes back towards midfield. Chasing it down is Taylor DeVos. DeVos can't get it through. Back comes Kelly O'Connor. O'Connor with a little touch pass up front. Too strong, battling for it there out to midfield. Franklin stops the, the drive and now will kick it back to set up their offense. Anderson pressure coming from OA. Franklin to midfield, Bridget Leo. Leo still charging and she loses control all the way back. OA with a partial opportunity here. Coming through nicely is DeVos. DeVos still holding behind the back with her dribble. How about that? The shot is blocked by Anderson. Still controlled in front. Blocked again. 
No foul and now sent out by O'Connor. The drive is gonna be caught by Rachel Welch. Big opportunity for OA. They've had a number of them. They've still been kept off the board, however, as Welch will punt it. High punt coming down at midfield. Headed by the Panthers, kicked the other way by OA. OA may have to take some chances to get a, a score or two here to get into the game. Zub, nice control, couldn't get by the defense, but still battle for it. Franklin keeps it in. Good control by Costa, and now it's taken the other way by Oliver Ames. Oliver Ames with position, and it's blocked on the far side. OA keeps charging, and a whistle stops play. Whistle stops play here, like an equipment malfunction, a shoelace untied for a Panther. Let's see who they're gonna give the ball to. I believe to the Panthers, they will get the free kick with 13.09 left. Franklin drives it on the right wing, headed forward. It's gonna go all the way down and Mattier will come way out of goal to pick up the dribbling ball and she'll run up and punt it. High punt. Settles down, Greco keeps it the other way for the Panthers. Fanning on the shot is Taylor DeVos. That's a turnover, now kicked high again. Greco soars over her head. A lot of English on that ball, bouncing back and forth. And now a little partial space here for Oliver Ames. Contact there, no call on the far side. It's kicked out of bounds. Away will have it with 12.21 left. Two to nothing, we've gone almost 40 minutes without a goal. The Franklin Panthers with two goals in the first half that kept rolling as Madier was out of goal, out of position. They rolled past her for those two goals. Shadow's getting a little bit deeper in that far corner now. Ball is out of bounds, Owe has it, quick throw in. Blocked by Franklin. Still squirts through, and now is kicked out of there. Nicely, Zub gets it over to a teammate, Anya Zub. The other way, Franklin blocks it, out of bounds. Now it's still kept inbounds, I beg your pardon. And now it is out of bounds with 11.27 to go in the game. Franklin two. Oliver Ames, no score. The drive there, Welch has the high hopper and she settles it down as a unlucky attacker was coming in to play for Oliver Ames. Welch will punt it. Beyond midfield, rolls all the way down inside the 40. On the far side, Franklin keeps it in. Franklin with the battle for it. Ball keeps rolling towards the OA goal and they do turn it over. Charging on the play was Tori Carmignani. The ball is gonna be knocked out of bounds. Franklin will have a deep upfield with under 11 minutes left in the game. The throw in by the Panthers. Goes past a player and kicked out by Franklin. Leo tries to control it, cannot. It comes all the way back, and Franklin will kick it to Welch. She cannot touch it. She has to kick it, and she does on the left wing for Katie Ewald. Ewald keeps it in with a nice move. Good dribble by Ewald. Ewald now drives it forward. It almost gets through the defense, kicked the other way, and that ball is going to be inbounds on the, far si on the near side, and Anderson will go back and drop it for Welch. Welch drives it on the right side. Under 10 minutes left, three quarters of the second half gone. 10 minutes and less here in the game. O'Connor races for it. Tip back to Franklin on the left wing it comes. Panthers on the sideline here. This is Katie Ewald. And she's thwarted on the play and the foul called against 
Oliver Ames, Jolie Diaz. Franklin will have it just shy of midfield. And Anderson has it teed up. She takes a five-step lead into it and drives it. Got a player out there, O'Connor. Can she get to it? Yes, and her centering pass is wide. O'Connor with a good job, but a little bit too back for an attacking teammate to catch it, and it rolls way over to the right side. Kept in. Now it's going to be called out of bounds, and it'll be a goal kick coming here for Oliver Ames and a whistle and a timeout. A first timeout of the game. It comes with 8.38 left. I believe it was called by Oliver Ames. I'm not positive on that. So to recap the scoring, it all occurred in the first half. Unofficially, Anya Zub at 16.24 and Kelly O'Connor at 11.35, and that's been it. No scoring in the second half. Well, fans, let's take a look at the Franklin schedule for girls' soccer here in the fall of 2022. Their next game will be on Tuesday, the 13th of September, against arch-rival King Philip. That's back here at Piscini Stadium at 345. Then Franklin goes on the road on September 15th at Foxborough and then stays on the road on September 19th at Taunton and then has its next home game after that on September 21st against Sharon, stays home on the 23rd against North Attleboro, and goes on the road on the 28th at Canton, and then on the 30th at Attleboro. So those are your upcoming games for the Panthers, playing in the Kelly Rex division. Franklin, looking at their schedule, does have a non-conference game coming up towards the end of the season. They usually do get one or two in then. It'll be on October 22nd, as Franklin will go to Bishop Fian and take on Bishop Fian High School on October 22nd. Everything else it looks to be a Kelly, a, a uh, Hockamock League matchup, except for that one. Franklin closes out the regular season on October 27th, hosting Milford, and that'll be a six o'clock start. So we're about to resume after the timeout. Franklin two, Oliver Ames nothing. We have eight minutes and 38 seconds left. The shadow's beginning to creep across the field now. A goal kick coming up for Oliver Ames. It'll be a field player to take it. Referee signals play in, and here we go with the goal kick. Franklin stops the drive. O'Connor tips it forward, but to the defense. Franklin tries to drive it out. Bridget Leo settles it on the right wing, turned over, and here comes Oliver Ames again. Down two goals. Kicked out of bounds. It'll be Oliver Ames with the ball in their offensive zone. Whistle stops play. And the ball will be turned back over to the Panthers. Franklin team. Their captains this year are Bridget Leo, the center midfielder, and Nora Anderson, the center back. Whistle stops play foul on Franklin. Oliver Ames will have it. We're under eight minutes to go. Here in the game, it's two to nothing. Franklin with the lead. Teed up on the far side, driven forward, comes through. Franklin turns it back. Franklin, Zub, kicks it forward. Away, back to midfield. It hops over Kelly O'Connor's head. Nice move there by Lucinda Licotter. Back to the Panthers. With it there was Carmignani. Franklin tries to drive it forward. Way out of goal is Janaya Mattier. She makes the save to relieve the pressure. And she'll punt it away. Strong punt this time. Beyond midfield on a nice roll. Tipped forward. Maddie Horton will settle it down. Now it's a foul called. It'll be a free kick coming up 
for Oliver Ames inside midfield with under 6.30 left. Franklin charging, O'Connor can't get to it. Away still drives it forward. Away looking to get through the defense. They have position on the left wing. The shot is blocked. Now it comes through, blocked again. The shot, it is just wide. There was an open goal to the right side, but the shot was blasted wide. The best opportunity for Oliver Ames. That would have cut the lead to only one goal. Franklin survives it. Teeing it up on her goal line is Rachel Welch, the junior. She'll send it low and short. Kept in and blasted forward by Leo. A lot of spin on the ball. Franklin drives it forward and they flip the field. One defensive back is back there and they control it, but they're gonna kick it out of bounds. Franklin with good position now with 5.30 left. At five minutes, the clock will stop on the scoreboard and the officials will control the clock on the field. The throw in by Katie Ewald. 5.20 to go in the game. Franklin two, Oliver Ames no score. The throw in gets through. Driving through with it, the shot comes on goal. The save by Mattier. 5.07 to go. OA to midfield with five minutes left. Franklin and OA, the Hockamock League rivals. Franklin, the bigger school, OA, the defending Davenport Conference champion last year. They drive it forward, headed the other way to O'Connor. She settles it down with some great play by O'Connor. She feeds Zub. Zub spins it back on the right side. There's a play there. The blast is too high. Look, beautiful play. As a, How about the play by... Zub, and then the blast is wide and high, and it goes out of bounds. A goal kick coming up for Oliver Ames. For in the final five minutes of play, field player will have it. Sends it out on the right wing, Bla blocked there by Franklin. O'Connor coming through, she shuts the shot off. The right side, the shot is saved, the rebound, the save, and the was that a goal? I don't think so. It was not a goal. It was a save by it was a save by Mattier in heavy traffic. Franklin with two or three chances down close. They couldn't cash it in. We stay at two to nothing unofficially. 120 gone in the five minute final segment of the game. The officials controlling the clock on the field. They are Rich Scafati and Jeff Carney. Franklin sends it down. Gets through momentarily. Franklin with the steal. Nice play there. Controlled by the Panthers. They're trying to send in O'Connor. Mattier comes out with it and makes the save. Ball out to midfield. Franklin pushed there against Oliver Ames as pushed was Ewald. And Franklin will have it. Precious seconds ticking off the clock now. Franklin two, Oliver Ames nothing. Opening day here in the 2022 season. Nora Anderson has it teed up. She's got the strong leg. Renew maneuvering players. Arm up. The drive by Anderson. Deep drive. Goes through. All the way through the defense. Franklin charging. The shot there by O'Connor. Saved by a fielder. And it's going to go out of bounds. They're going to give it to the Panthers. We have unofficially two and a half minutes left in the game. Franklin two. Oliver Ames no score. Sub coming in for Coach Tom Geisen as Leo comes out in the final two and a half of this one. Ball is loose. OA has it. With the charge upfield, going back on defense that time was Hamad who replaced Leo. Ewald sends it through. And Franklin trying to control it. it skips the leg of a Panther and out to midfield to Lucinda Lacotter. 
less than two minutes left in the game unofficially. Emma Gavin chased down. It's going to go out of bounds. Free throw in for Katie Ewald. Unofficially, a minute and a half left in the game. Two to nothing, Franklin. Blocked, taken back by Oliver Ames. And they drive it. It's going to roll down, out of bounds. Goal kick coming up for Franklin. That costs some precious time. Welch will pick it up and punt it. No, she'll la leave it on the ground for a tee shot. And here it is. Short kick, turned back by O.A. O.A. needs two goals in the final minute of this game, unofficially. Franklin charging, O.A. doing the same. Franklin gets control of it, and they're going to tip it out of bounds. O.A. with the throw in. Precious seconds left. Jenna Nelson will throw it up. It comes through, intended for Gavin, goes through her. Kept in on the middle of the field by Mary Cross. She sends it off, tipped back by O'Connor for Franklin. Time winding down. Franklin two, Oliver Ames nothing. Franklin sends it deep downfield. Franklin with the ball. This is Zub, Anya Zub, controlling it. Little tip pass on the right wing. Franklin with the drive there, and the one hopper is gathered in by Janaya Mattier. Very little time left. The drive here to midfield. Franklin holding on, foul called against the Panthers. Away will have another chance. The drive through, all the way through. Anderson with the save. And the whistles blow and Franklin wins it. It's all over. Another shutout here for the Panthers. Of course, it's the first game of the season, and Rachel Welch is greeted by her teammates out on the field. She turned everything back. Franklin got two goals past Janaya Mattier, and they win it opening day, two to nothing victory for the Panthers. Unofficially, the goal scorers, Anya Zub, one to nothing Panthers with 16-24 in the first half. Then Kelly O'Connor, the fresh uh, the second goal rather. She scores with 11.35 to go, and that made it 2 to nothing. and that's where things stood. The sophomore O'Connor unofficially with the goal. No scoring in the second half. Well, that's going to do it for our opening day coverage of Franklin Girls Soccer from Piscini Stadium on the Franklin High Campus. Looking ahead, the next Franklin game is going to be Tuesday, September 13th, against King Philip here at Piscini Stadium. I'd like to thank our producer and our director, Chris Leverone, our camera operator and our technologist, we have Melissa Marchese, and this is going to do it. The final score for the final time today, Franklin 2, Oliver Ames nothing. Till next time, Pete Royce saying so long, neighbors.